Hey guys, Chris here for Frosted Productions and today I'm going to do a tutorial for Cheetah 3D on how to model a marker much like this one. Um, this is kind of a simpler tutorial but it's still a little bit complicated so let's begin. Um, this is about what it's going to look like when you get all done. So, Alright, just go up, we'll start with a new canvas here and uh, we'll start by modeling the uh, cap of the uh, marker. I don't know, this might be a uh, two-part tutorial, I'm not sure, but just go up, grab a cylinder, and make it this size. Now what you want to do is go into polygon mode, select the bottom here, and do an extrude about down to here. Actually, we'll go down to about, about right here, then you want to click off and you want to do a ring cut right about here is good go back into polygon mode select this and uh, you want to scale it out a little bit um, evenly about like that's pretty good then you want to grab your tool and pull it straight down and now this part here is going to be the length of your cap. Uh, so you want to make this here accordingly. This is sort of like the inside part of the cap, so uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, so I don't know, something like that's probably pretty good. Now for this next part to make it come back up so you don't see this part, um, you want to do a ring cut right. Uh, Right there is good. Then you want to do a ring select. Select those bottom polygons and then extrude them out. This is going to be the width of the base of your cap, so uh, you need to just know that. So pull this out accordingly, something like. I don't know, that should be okay. And remember, I'm doing this fairly quickly just for this tutorial, so you're going to want to take a lot more time doing this stuff. You're going to do another ring cut right here, and you want to make this one fairly thin. Then you're going to grab your polygon tool, and you're going to do another ring selection. Alright, so now that when you have these uh, bottom polygons here selected from the ring select, you want to just pull it straight up to the top and you got to make sure that this is one extruder or else the next step isn't going to work. So go into your left mode and then just uh, extrude it up to the top here. About like that. It's got to be level with that top piece. So now what you want to do is grab this tool here and pull it out a little bit because you'll see that the top of the cap is flared. So something like that's pretty good. Um, now looking at this cap, it looks like it's a little bit short, so what we want to do is go into edge mode, do a uh, loop select here, and then hold down shift and do another one right there, and then just pull these edges down until it looks like it's about the right length. It's pretty good. Now what we want to do is, you see that we have these polygons, um, in here. Just select these. So we'll do an extrude down to here so where it's about level with the uh, level at the bottom. You want to go into your left view to do this right so you can uh, make sure it's perfect. Right about there is good. And uh, then you want to do another extrude so it's a little bit below. Right about there. Then you'll go into, uh, you'll grab this tool, you, you can go back into camera view here, and uh, you want to scale this out about like this, grab this tool, and then we'll do another extrude, about, actually just a little bit more like that, and then uh, you want to pull it out just a little bit more and then we're going to go straight down with it now remember I'm doing this 
fairly quickly. So you're going to want to take a lot more time with yours so that it looks nicer and cleaner than mine.